Alrighty then, back by popular demand. I'm Craig Charles and this is a special edition of the game show that breaks the mould when going for gold and leaves the contestants out in the cold if they're just not bold enough. That's right, today we've got some more madcap kitty caper served up with a bit of a twist as the mums and dads join in. Coming up on this show, we're picking our kids in brass sack. We're crawling to safety in turtle soup. We're knocking blocks in whack the stack. And having a ball in bridge ball. It's a special. It's a special Takeshi's castle. Lady's favourite, General Lee, has his hands full today as he takes a hundred families of gallant gung-ho gamers round the tricky and testing trials thrown down by the Count himself. The challenges remain the same, so the embarrassment doesn't change. Could there be a winner in this bunch? I don't know about that. This is Takeshi's castle. General, raise those fists of fury! We start today's family size special with Brat Sack. Emotionally charged game this for all involved. The object is to find your own kid. Peering into the sacks. Kind of embarrassing if you can't recognize your own. If they were deers, they could smell them. Actually, if they're parents, they can probably smell them. He's got his. He had a little girl, but he decided he wanted a boy. One hundred contestants, the first eighty-eight to find their sprog. Go through. These new slings, very trendy. See them down the King's Road? That's no way to treat a kid! You can't drag them along the ground like that, madam! Can you believe it's taken some of the parents this long to actually find their own? The children will be traumatized for life after this! Have you got mine? She wants a swap. I'm sure that's what the conversation was about. <laughs> this one hasn't got a hasn't got a pair. He's adopted. <laughs> they get him out. He gave her a slap. You can't do that, surely. Final whistle there. End of the round. <laughs> Final whistle signifies the end of the round. But for my ridiculous replay, excuse me, mate, you've got my kid. I know. He's lighter than mine. <laughs> Our contestants march on to walk the plank. Our contestants really have to collaborate well to get through this one. It's all about timing, it's all about the distribution of weight. But with such a difference between adult and child, it's going to be difficult. These are going... Oh, no! The kid's gone in the water. Oh, it's back home for him. Double homework. He's grounded. Come on, then. Let's get a move on. Come on, you've got to... Cut. Oh, you've got to time it right. You can't go marching on. If you march on, you fall off. 31 and 31, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, it's miles ahead. Dad's in the drink. Come on, then. Oh! Moving well! Oh, synchronicity! Of 
course, the theory of synchronicity is that two things can happen at once. <laughs> well, only one thing happened there. Mum's in the water, kids on the bank. <laughs> Generally offering words of encouragement. Mum gets that in the chin, I think. Never mind. Yeah, she got that right in the face, that plank. How are they going to fare? Oh dear, it's a catch 22 situation. How can that be possible? They got through, but on separate planks. For my ridiculous replay, though, look at this. Charging ahead. Mum's in the water. He thinks he's going through. 75 happy households are. They've synchronised their way into roll out the barrel. Let's hope the kids don't choose the wrong hole. New game for us, this. Sticks in the sword. If you stick the sword in the wrong hole, then Mum... Rolls out the barrel and slides off down the slide like that. There you go. <laughs> in the drink. It's raw sewage. It's been shipped in from southern Japan and it's not been treated. If you look closely, you'll see little things floating in it. Come on, number 24, your time is up. Fair sword. <laughs> No luck there. You're out of the game. There's Dennis the Menace guiding them to their swords. Up the ladder, lad. Looks like a game of Helter Skelter with a very wet ending, though. Puts it in four. Goes for number one. Father, safe on dry land at the moment. It can all end in tears, though, at any moment. He squeezes in the three. Yes! He's happy. He's through. Let's see if mother and daughter can emulate the success of father and son. First off, she goes for five. Oh, dear! It was an air-lucky number. She's in the drink. That's right, all you can do is smile when that happens. I've got to show this again for my ridiculous replay. I don't think I've ever seen a contestant so happy to exit the competition. After that, 64 families march on to crawl their way through turtle soup. Parents go on all fours in this one. Meanwhile, the kids ride them. They have to get round the course without ending up in the soup. <laughs> this is where the parents give praise for not having a fat kid. <laughs> Looks like it's hard work. They're making hard work of it here. Baby turtle. The girl on the back's called Michelle. And again. Oh, no! They fall before they even start. Dad lands on daughter. Both of them soaking wet. Of course, the more that go, the slippier this course becomes.
Oh dear, it looks like they're finding this very difficult. They could go either way. Oh, both ways are out. Straight to the egress. He's even swimming like a turtle. Maybe they should have done better. Let's see this pathetic pair again for my ridiculous replay. It really was all over, even before it started. Big losers. Stay right where you are, though. Because in part two, our 52 feisty families are playing whack the stack. They're playing bridge ball. And as my old dad used to say, eggs and vows, easily broken. Oh, yes, we're back. And if you thought the last half was good, we were only just getting warm. Our families are now ready to play whack the stack. It's probably where the expression chip off the old block came from. Obviously the game. Stand a kitty on the stack. And then knock out the blocks. Oh! Well done! One, come on, you can do the green one now, surely. Oh, he's gone! Oh, lucky. Did quite well. Kitty on the stack, parent with the hammer. Going for the yellow one first. Good bang, well done. Synchronicity again, you have to jump. At just the right time. Like that, that's excellent. They go through. He can't even get up there. He's up there now. Little fella, not looking at me. Oh, just about keeps his balance there. You want to come and get the green one now, surely? <laughs> Making hard work of this now. Oh, he's gone. He brings down his mum as well. Can you blame him? Still not looking happy. Didn't want to be here. Wanted to be at home watching Grandpa's Eight. Oh dear. I don't think Mummy's up to this yet. Oh no! Wow! Face first, he comes down. Dazed and confused. Surely these aren't mother and daughter. More like big sister, little sister. Oh, she hit two blocks at once. This is looking precarious now. The red tablet. <laughs> Just about writing a wrong there. Oh, she hit the wrong one again. The back where they started. Mum's knacking already. Or is it big sister? Who knows? Who cares? Hands on a postcard. Getting a little bit of help now. You're aiming at the yellow. Just in case you get confused. Oh, she hit the green again. Brought the whole house of cards tumbling down. Number 69's always been my lucky number. Let's see if it's lucky for these contestants. Oh! Not at all! Doesn't get better with the replay. Landed on her knees. He tried to put too much into that. He got nothing out. Gotta be very careful with this little one, she's tiny. Come on, Dad. Oh, yes, what a hit! Oh, no! Kitty didn't jump properly, left her hands on the tablet. Oh! 
<laughs> They're giving the little one an extra chance. Oh! <laughs> well, it's good to see the game's being played in the right spirit. Great clip for my ridiculous replay. These two must have been practicing at home. 41 fanatic families face bridge ball, though. Must be hard for the kids in this. I'm not really sure if they should be allowed to see their parents getting pummeled in the gunnels. Takes that one on the knee. You have to catch your golden ball. Avoid the cannon fire from the Emerald Guard. Make your way across the Millennium Bridge to the other side. If you can do that, you're through. If you can't, you're not. <laughs> Emerald Guard not doing their best here. Oh! Hush my mouth. They knock the ball out of his hands. Oh, and he's gone over. Couldn't recover his position. He's out of the game. Sun doesn't look that devastated. Happy to be going home. Catch. His knees look a bit wobbly. Is that nerves or uncertainty? Oh, he took that one in the spuds. Shot. Kid looks proud. Oh, not anymore, though. Out of the game. Yes. Testing the bridge over the river Y. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> Doesn't seem so certain, this contestant. Very tentative. Very careful. Almost afraid. Get a move on, Daddy, shouting. Come on, you wazzik. Oh, gets it in the chest. Oh, he took it. Can he recover? He's still got the ball. He's still the right way round. Kitty there showing no respect for his elders. <laughs> Hurry up, Dad! It's embarrassing! Oh dear. Oh, Dad, oh, Dad, oh, Dad. Can he recover again? Trying to swing himself round. Takes a lot of strength, this. Energy sapping competition. And this, one of the most energy sapping events. What is he trying to do? Is he mating with that bridge? To make a little bridge? Oh, he's given up the ghost now, surely. Drop the ball. Oh, give up, Dad. It's embarrassing now. Dad's going on. No, he couldn't do it. Well caught. Now all she got to do is get across the bridge. Oh, the guard is so accurate. It's frightening, really. Blasting the balls out of hand. She goes back, starts again. Oh, takes one right in the midriff there. She's got to do is keep her footing. Will she make it? She's trying to do it on her hands and knees. 
Good recovery. She goes through. Well done, ma'am. Becoming at one with the bridge. Going with the flow. He's going to get a battering now, though, any minute. Final hurdle. Junior certainly doesn't seem impressed. Let's just see that again for my ridiculous replay. Of all the places to lose, why at the end? As we look back in anger at our furious flashback, let's see how our farcical families bade farewell. And slipped and slapped. And whacked and smacked their way out the competition. <laughs> Time for the final showdown and a triumphant trio of families are sucked out of the pipe and into the car park to meet General Lee. Let's hope this meeting will be the thrust they need to storm Takeshi's castle. Take him forward, General. Only three families. Uh, Emerald Guard are so highly trained. Of course, the families will be trying to protect their rings, placed there on the front of their dinky dodgems. If the ring gets penetrated, they're out of the game at this late stage. They've come so far. Oh, look at that, another one gone. It was inevitable. Our contestants really had only two hopes. Slim and none. No winners this time on Takeshi's Castle. But join us next time. I'm sure we'll find a winner. And remember, as my old dad used to say, never go above 40 watts for a table lamp. Sayonara.